Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the Louis Vuitton Never Full in size MM and the Speedy Bandolier in size 30. Um, of course, as you can see, they're side by side. So today we're going to be doing some kind of comparison. I, I have both of the purses, so I definitely do love both of them, but uh, for separate reasons. So if um, you're watching this, I believe that you're considering one of the purses or maybe you might have one and you're considering getting the other um if this is something that is probably on your mind and uh, just please stay tuned while we jump right into the video so first of all i'm going to be um talking about the speedy and this is the speedy um 30 in um bandolier style which has the straps um so for the traditional speedy the classic speedy um, the only difference is that it doesn't have the strap, so it wouldn't have this leather um, band on the side here and the straps which are inside the purse. But um, I'm just going to just put that out there. If you're considering getting this uh, purse and you're a practical person, someone who probably has kids or you know is active, I would suggest you just going ahead, paying the extra few dollars and buying, you know, the bandolier version of the bag. Because, to be honest, I wouldn't, you know, want to pick this bag without the strap. The strap. Because the traditional L Classic Speedy only has the handles that you can carry as a top handle this way. And you're pretty much just stuck with probably putting it at the crook of your arm or, you know, carrying it as a top handle bag. The f my first pro of this bag is that, of course, this is the classic Louis Vuitton um, bag. It's so beautiful. It's very practical. Um, it's very dressy compared to the um, Neverfull as well. You're able to style this um, and it pretty much transitions very, very easily from day to night. The smaller you go, the, the nicer it will look at night. However, this is more like the, the medium size or the median size when it comes to the Speedy. But I love it so much. It doesn't give me like um, um, bag lady at all. It's very, it's still, it's very soft of course. But however, it's still pretty structured in my own opinion. Um, I tend to use a, a, a base shaper on the inside of this bag just so that when I throw things into the bag it doesn't you know lose its shape which I'll still discuss very soon it's a very versatile bag as well um, <clears throat> you're able to wear it as a crossbody bag and when I say it's very versatile I would say the speedy bandolier ver the bandolier version of this bag is very versatile you can wear it as a crossbody you can wear it as a shoulder purse by shortening the straps on um, the bag because you can actually detach the straps to make it shorter they come with like three different like sorry like two extra um what's it called straps so you can like take one off to make it you know a shorter version or add both and just wear it as a crossbody i like that about this purse and of course if you don't really care too much for the strap you know you can either take it off or just go ahead and just buy the classic speedy Another pro for me for this bag compared to the Neverfull, of course, is the fact that this actually has a zipper to close up the purse. This is a very valuable thing for sure compared to the Neverfull. You're not scared about people putting stuff in, like, you know, stealing stuff out of your purse. And of course, if you have like maybe multiple things you're carrying you're not worried about the bag tipping over and spilling out like spilling out and stuff like that so that's something that i really like about this this one it provides more security compared to the number four and of course it's also very lightweight and but this is of course because this is in the canvas material so it's very lightweight um very um what's it called holds a lot of stuff holds a bunch of stuff course this is not wouldn't hold as much and I'm gonna I'm pretty much comparing both sizes right this is in the size 30 which is the medium size and the size mm which is also the medium size version of the um, never full so this I would say doesn't hold as much stuff as the never full however it does hold a lot of stuff I mean I would say I can carry everything that I can carry in my never full with the exception of maybe my, my laptop my laptop will fit comfortably into my never full and um, for another pro is that, you know, it's very great for everyday use. Um, it has a better price point 
not for the bandolier version but it has a better price point if it's the traditional speedy the classic speedy compared to buying the neverfull um of course it's not all good right let's talk about the cons my cons the first thing i would say is limited visibility into you know the purse i feel like the entryway or the the, the what's it called the opening compared to the neverfull is a little bit more limited i mean I can still see everything right now because there's like literally light shining in front of me but if it's in a dark place it's very difficult for me to really see what's on the inside of the bag um and like i said it doesn't hold as much as a never full in the size m and the, the medium size as well doesn't hold as much but another thing about this bag is that it doesn't bother me but i know it bothers a lot of people is that i just want to just throw this into here for you guys to see what it looks like it gets when you throw a bun, uh, throw something in the bag, it can potentially be saggy and mess up the the shape of the bag, right? Because if you don't have a base shaper, the purse can pretty much you know get saggy when you throw something heavy into the purse. This doesn't bother me. I actually don't mind it. Even looking at it right now it doesn't even. Mm -mm, I actually like it, but I know it bothers some people. But um, to be honest, I do put a base shaper in my bag just because i know that my bag can be pretty disorganized for the most part i don't really care to use an organizer in it but the base shaper yes so for it to remain structured and flat at the bottom this way you might want to consider getting a base shaper they're literally like 15 16 dollars on amazon so that's not a worry at all so that pretty much sums up my conversation about the speedy bandolier 30. So let's talk about the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. The Neverfull has my heart, of course, just because, number one, it was my first ever luxury purse. It was my first ever luxury purchase as well. And it's just a very classic piece. I know it came out in the two, early 2000s. However, it, it quickly became a classic bag. And it's just your regular tote. I have lugged it around, okay? I have lugged it around. I haven't cleaned it any... Yeah, it, yeah I don't, shouldn't be saying this, but I haven't like done like a deep cleaning ever since I purchased the bag. This is what it looks like on the inside. I have my base shaper in there just to hide a few dirt, dirty stuff. So this, is what the, the, so this is what the purse looks like on the inside. It comes with the... The newer um, editions come with the pouch. This I see a lot of ladies carrying this around. Of course, you can carry it, carry it as like a little clutch. But for me, I just use this. I just use it to store random things that I have in my purse. I have a bunch of random things and cash in here, and it comes with this um, strappy thing that you can use to just like you know hold on to. It has a D ring. I don't think I mentioned um, the D ring on the inside of this. PD30 as well but of course I use this to like maybe hang my keys or hang my um, sanitizer now um, just so that it's accessible it's very easily accessible and just doesn't get lost when the purse is actually filled up with stuff and this purse also has that as well oh where is it yeah it has that right here you can see I actually have something hanging here I think it's from my sanitizer so yeah my first pro about this bag would be, of course, unlimited visibility, okay? Compared to the Speedy 30 or the Speedy bag, it's just literally open. Like, you can access everything. It's just very easy to just see what's in the bag. Um, it's just nice. It's like a very classic tote. Super light as well. It's very easy to carry. Just throw things in there and you're sure to find it, okay? And one day they never fold, this bag really does get, like, really doesn't ever get full. If you're not putting clothes, like, fitting it with clothes and stuff, maybe like a jacket or something, if it's just a bunch of, like, random things, you can put literally anything in here. And, of course, if you're not trying to always, like, carry it this big and just have this large-looking tote everywhere, you can cinch the sides of the purse, like so. Cinch the sides this way and this way as well kind of to give you like a bucket like a bucket bag kind of vibe and this definitely changes the style of a bag 
significantly and just you know gives it a different look so i actually to be honest have worn this worn it this way only once this is not really my cup of tea if i want to carry the tote i take it out this way <laughs> but of course if you're trying to just you know have a different look if this is something that maybe it's like your first purse and you want to just you know have a different look this is definitely something to consider um compared to buying the speedy you kind of have like a two in bag situation and uh, for the closure uh, of this one this is literally all you have the snap it open and closure um portion of this bag is right here there's no zipper there's no zip so whatever you get this is the this is the closer you're gonna get to shutting this bag up or closing it up okay probably cinching it helps even better but if you're not gonna be doing it this way then the bag is gonna be literally literally open this way for the most part so another pro of this bag is that compared to the speedy this bag doesn't need any base shaper to keep the shape of the bag. I know people have organizers for these bags. I've never been a fan of organizers, to be honest. So I don't um, put any organizer in this or any base shaper. The only reason why this the base shaper is actually in here is because I'm trying to cover <laughs> the base of the nasty purse that needs to be cleaned. Okay. So the base shaper usually would be inside my Speedy 30. Um, another uh, pro for me would be that it fits a significant amount of stuff compared to the speedy 30 it actually fits way more stuff compared to the speedy 30 like i mentioned earlier it fits my laptop it fits uh ipads you can put a laptop a full-size laptop in here comfortably um i know that the size gm would definitely fit probably like a house in there but that's not something i want to put into the purse I have really nothing bad to say about it. It just depends on, you know, your preference. Okay, so let's jump right into the cons of this purse, my cons of the purse. So my first con will be that um, it doesn't have a closure. Um, you know, if it had a zipper, I can't remember. I know that Louis Vuitton has another purse that kind of favors this bag, but um, it has a zipper at the top, but I'm actually not a fan. It doesn't give a, like a really laid back look like this one gives, and that's what I was going for with this bag. I mean, because... Mm, I don't know if I would have wanted a zipper, but yeah, it would be nice to have a zipper when you're at a place whereby, you know, you don't really feel safe and you have like valuables in your purse. But, uh, yeah, if safety is a concern for you, I don't think I would advise you to get the never full because it's very easy for people to literally just stick their finger, their hands in your purse on both sides and just like pull stuff out. Only if you're like, like you know, kind of like packing things strategically covering you know whatever is inside your purse or maybe like a cloth or a jacket or whatever it is but mm, if it's something you're going to be like intentionally thinking about all the time i would say stay away from the never fall go with the speedy you know the speedy um purses that have zippers and you know that you can have the security completely my other con really is not a con because it's just pretty much we're going to be the ones to cause this con um, because the, because of the style of the strap, it's so thin and, um, because we carry, you can, you can carry literally everything in the bag. It tends to get very heavy and being that this is pretty much like a shoulder bag, it would dig in your shoulders when it's really heavy. So whenever the purse gets heavy because of the, the thin straps, it digs into the shoulders. I mean, is that, that might be a con for you or for people who are considering this bag however for me it's expected right actually if you're filling the purse up with stuff it's only expected for it to fill your you know to dig into your arms and because of the style of the strap if it was a wider strap probably it wouldn't do that as much but i mean this is really not something that bothers me too much um so yeah that's pretty much you know i can't really say too much you know i can't really say any bad stuff about the Neverfull because I really like it. I mean, I ended up getting the Speedy just because I just felt like this was just such a classic piece and I've been enjoying wearing this a lot more. I actually haven't worn this in at least since I traveled and I used it as a beach bag. I haven't worn it in almost a year, the Neverfull, but I was thinking about taking it. Um, um, we'll be traveling to 
Europe during the summer. So I was thinking about taking my never fool. However, because I've heard a lot of stuff about, you know, pickpocketing and stuff like that in the um, in Europe, I'm kind of scared to take this because I don't want to lose anything. I'd rather just feel safer and, uh, you know, with a bag that I can actually like zip completely shut. So that is something to consider for, you know, both bags, security wise and all that. So, um, I would say, hmm, finally, if I were to pick, um, you know, between both, which one would I go for? I've been trying to think about, I've said a bunch of things, trying to pick which one I'm trying to like, you know, rationalize which one I should pick. But right now, the only reason I'm going to be picking this, to be honest, the only reason I pick, because I feel like they're neck and neck for me. I don't think you can go wrong with two of the purses. I think that's my answer. However, if I were, if I were forced, if I'm forced to pick, I'll definitely go with the Speedy um, 30, just because you're able to dress this up and dress this down. I feel like that it has more versatility that way. And the fact that, actually, let me not say I will speak, I'll pick the Speedy B. I mean, I'll pick the Speedy. I will pick the Speedy and the Bandolier version. If it's the traditional Speedy, I'll definitely pick my Neverfull. However, it's the, if it's the one with the straps, I will pick the Speedy Bandolier because this is more versatile. You can wear this from day to night because of the structured shape. It just gives a very classic, you know, look. And because of the strap as well you can wear it as a, as a top handle bag wear it as a shoulder strap bag wear it as a crossbody and yeah but i love them equally i love them a lot i know i haven't carried this a lot but it's just because i got another tote sometime i got it well, i got another tote two years ago that replaced this so throughout last year i was wearing the other tote it was my uh, on the go tote that replaced this and you know this one just really deserved a break okay and it's and, you know and she's still looking really good that pretty much sums up my video um let me know what you guys think what um is your preference if you guys had the choice to pick um one of the purses which ones would you go for and why uh looking forward to hearing from you guys and um thank you so much for watching if you watched up until this point please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i really very much appreciate it, it very much helps you know my newly growing channel and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching again and see you in my next video bye